Right, let's learn what a cube root is. Remember with the square root, we had the same box over number. But with the cube root, you actually will see a 3 over here. That shows it's something times by itself 3 times to get the answer on the inside. So here we have the number on the inside is the one we're finding the cube root for, and the one on the outside tells us it's a cube root, not a square root. So over here we have cube root 8, which would be equal to 2. Let's look why. Because 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is equal to 8. Okay, so whatever the cube root answer is for the number on the inside, it's the number multiplied by itself three times. You can have a negative cube root. Unlike a square root, which you can't have a negative in, you can have a negative for cube root. Why? Because... In this case, we can see it's minus 2, because we know 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. But let's look at why we can have a negative. It's because we know our sign rules. It would be a minus and a minus would be a plus. Then that plus and that minus would end up as a minus. So we can actually have that as a negative cube root. And the answer to that would be the cube root of negative 8. Right. Let's do these cube roots over here. Cube root of 27, now I don't expect you to know them out of your head unless you've had lots of practice with cube roots, but we can say that is 3, because 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is equal to 27. So this is going to be equal to 3. So the answer here is actually 3. Okay? Next one. What's the cube root of 125? I also know this one. It's 5, because... 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125. Okay, next one. What is the cube root of 1,000? And I know this one's 10, because 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000. Okay, so I hope you've got a better grip on cube roots now. This is so simple. It's just a little bit... Um, one step further than your square roots and also they are allowed to have a negative is allowed to be a negative inside the box for a cube root only please press subscribe on my videos or underneath to subscribe to my channel so that you can see all these valuable valuable rules i share on my channel you will have lost some rules along the way probably if you're not a top top student and this is a good way of finding them again if you lost them in previous grades and didn't find, uh, learn them because you were ill or you didn't attend class for a reason or you were just simply having a bad day. You can always come and pick up all those rules again on my ch channel. I've split them into topics, uh, into playlists, one little video at a time. Short videos. You don't have to sit all day long. Okay, see you again.